We're on Banger Pier. Just woken up, just got ready. There's the van there, look. And that was our view this morning. Here's Lulu all wrapped up. <laughs> it's not as nice today. It's broke. We're, weather's broke up a bit today. So we're going to have a walk down this pier. Oh my word, it's blowing down this end of the pit. Oh Jesus. <laughs> How cold is it when that wind kicks off? It's so windy. <laughs> That's bloke cobwebs off this morning. So she about coffee in here. Oh yeah. What's an entry biscuit? Nice cough. Nice little car. Back out into Baldy Wind. <laughs> At least I got my coffee. Welcome back, guys, to another adventure with the Urban Monkeys. We're walking down the pier at Bangor and then we're going to jump in, go across to a nice little sandy cove beach, have his chocolate waffles, his fruit and yogurt, another coffee, a couple more coffees. And then we're going to Amluk. I'm sure it's Amluk. Amluk. Uh, a guy we bumped into on his trip. Uh, a couple of lovely lads told us about this place. Apparently, it's an old bromine. I need to check this out. I think I'm saying it right. Bromine mine. Um, it's all abandoned. You can get in and have a look around. There's caves and other stuff. Don't know if you can officially get in. No, it's just climbing for a gate. Might have to do a bit of climbing. Probably end up being Luan getting arrested, which is probably quite funny. But yeah, sounds cool. Tab place we want to have an explore. Something interesting, a bit different. So yeah, next stop, beach breakfast. Oh, it's got even more drizzly now. We we'll drive down to this little beach. So we'll park just here. I thought this one would be um, be good for overnight parking, but it's private private paying display it's got cameras up for number plate recognition and signs everywhere saying no parking which is a bit of a bummer because it's right in middle of well there's nothing around it it's right on the beach here look but you can see you see the drizzle and rain coming in now oh. We've, we've been lucky though guys, we've been really lucky on this trip, see, early January, we've been really lucky, it's been great, this would be an awesome, awesome beach in summer, nice clear waters, not very good for diving, it's just sand, so we're going to do is breakfast here, <laughs> we get back in pan. Welcome back. <laughs> we just got settled in the van. I can't wait for this breakfast. Lulu's uh, not. This is a bit different to what we normally do, isn't it? We got just so sick and tired. As much as I love a fry up, it's just like sausage, bacon. I don't think I Since all over Christmas and camping before, I couldn't eat. <laughs> We're done. So we've got the Ridge Monkey out with some chocolate waffles. And Luan's gonna do we've got some nice fresh bananas, so some bananas, lightly warmed in the pan with some honey and fresh raspberries, which all reduce down and make like a little corn, compot, compot, fruit compot, yeah, fruit compot. And then we'll uh, obviously glaze them over our chocolate waffles, and, and then yogurt. we've got some fresh yogurt to go with it. Coffee without my uh, trusty dubbed out mug. 
I love these mugs, quality. <laughs> Chef in action. <laughs> Might be a disaster like the eggs. No. The Kadak's awesome for things like this, isn't it? Because you can, you don't have to keep obviously flipping them, you flip the pan. So you the can, just, yeah, the ridge, ridge monkey, what did I say? Kadak. Kadak, sorry. Ridge monkey, you can keep flipping it. Oh, yeah. Plenty of honey on there, look. Squeeze it! <laughs> yeah, boy. The diesel eaters make they are an absolute game changer in the vans. Um, one of my friends messaged me and said, How do you keep warm in the van when it's so cold? And, you know, to be fair, we've been lucky it's not been that cold since it's been early January. At night, it, it has dropped a bit chilly, but um, with the diesel here, just one click of that, in a couple of minutes, it's toasty as anything. We have to probably, uh, most of the time, turn it off. Even on the lowest setting, it's too much in this little van. So the absolute game changers when you're out and about. Um, I fitted this one myself. It is a Chinese import one. A lot of people frown on the Chinese ones. But to be fair, I think that was less than, just under 90 quid delivered. Fitted it myself. Uh, quite straightforward. There's loads of YouTube videos on how to fit him. So I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but for me, price of what you, you spend on the other brand named ones, um, you could afford to put a brand new one of them in every year so yeah I'm going for that I've tried it it works fine for me I've heard some disaster stories on the Chinese ones but for mine it's ace uh, and like I say if it packs in I'll just put on it swap it just swap the main unit out all the pumps and all the wiring will be the same so I'll just swap the main unit so the bananas are going on oh yes oh yes you're letting them warm through before we chuck them. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pinching one. They look badass. Mm. Chocolate waffle. Oh, yes, mate. If you're wondering what this purple thing is here, uh, look for the vlog for the New Year's Eve. Dubbed out New Year's Eve party. Because obviously we've been on We've been on an adventure since New Year's Eve and that thing keeps floating around in the back. <laughs> yes. Sizzle, sizzle. Oh, look at them bad boys. Nicely sweated down. And this is us view. A bin. <laughs> A bin. The sea is out there. The sea is out there. I'm ready to plate up, kid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at them. I'm slightly overlapping. That smells delicious. Callum would be so annoyed we've cut this right. <laughs> I'd love this. And the finishing torch. Oh my lord. That is a beast. Yes. Give me a high five there, Luan. Pow. Oh, this is a taste sensation. Probably one of the best breakfasts I've had in the van. It's good, isn't it, Luli? Oh my word, guys. Chocolate waffles are just cooked perfectly. And the warm raspberries warmed up with the bananas and the honey. Just zing in your mouth and with the natural yogurt as well. Oh, awesome. Amazing. Cheers, Luan. Hi, guys. We've popped up. We're in Amluck. That's Hamlet, little arbor there, look. And the weather's pish. So we're just gonna have a quick walk, see if we can find this old abandoned mine. We'll have a look around. Sounds cool, I hope we can get in. Oh, weather's getting worse now, guys. So this is the old abandoned mine. Huge area. 
but it's a lot more secured than we thought. So we've had a good look, good look around. Can't see any way in without climbing some serious fences. But we found this awesome little spot. So we're gonna have a little investigate, have a look around here. I can't see a way in there. It's totally abandoned. It's a shame because you've got all these little looks like a cooling tower or something there. Look, we're in where there's a will, there's a way. Completely abandoned. It's weird, it's huge, it's completely like a ghost. Complete, yeah. Look at this. Cool is that? I can't believe how big it is, it's just abandoned. I suppose it costs so much to just to get rid of it all. Right? We'll go around and have a look at this, come back round, and then we're calling it. Just proper airy, weird, airy place. You get going back, kid. Oh man, such a shame with the weather because literally that. It's the best drone spot ever. You can fly across all the abandoned buildings, around the towers, around the cooling pipes, big wide holes at the side of the buildings we could have flown into quite easily and around and come back. Got it. Definitely gonna have to come back there. Definitely. If you've got a good drone, literally just sit on this cliff a nice day and fly it, especially if you've got goggles, the drone goggles. Whew. Let's get back. It's horrendous. Eesh. Absolutely drowned rats. Oh, the site's actually massive. It's from right down there. Look, all these are abandoned here. Yeah. All the way around. It's up to that tower there. It's a huge site. Drop it in on Google Maps, you can see it clear as day on Google Maps, so just how big it is. It'd be nice to get on that tower. Ooh. It's just so windy. It's really struggling in this rain. It's horrendous. Luckily, Lowland's has got full waterproofs on. So, due to it being that wet, the weather's broke up. We've had an absolutely awesome time. I think uh, we're just going to head back home. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following on another epic adventure with Urban Monkeys. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave any comments below. Hit the bell for all up and coming videos. Woohoo! We're going to have a steady ride back. Anglesey, Wales, you've been amazing. Thank you very much. See you again next time.